Hi, so this is how to do post-processing in a VR chat world, specifically a VR chat world. I thought I'd make this because I've been having to explain how to do it to some people and it's kind of tedious to type out. And the one thing that I share with everyone, which is where I learned how to do it, which is kind of the go-to place to learn is, is this, which I think Silent wrote up and this is available. This was kind of my go-to on how to set it up, but I'm, I'm assuming most people's instinct is just to go to YouTube and to search it. So, um, and I don't, I can't find a easy post-processing tutorial on YouTube for VR chat. So that's what this is. So I'm just going to show you how to do it really quickly. It's pretty simple. Um, first thing you want to do is, well, I'm, I'm using a, um, this is one of my worlds I have available. Um, so I'm just going to use this as an example because I don't have it in here yet. Um, so first you got to do is download uh, post-processing. So go to window. This is 2018.4.20. So go to window package manager and go to um, post-processing, which is right here, and just install the latest version. And once that's installed, it's super simple. So I'm assuming that you already imported the VR Chat SDK, um, and in your scene you have the VRC world uh, prefab from the SDK, which is like your spawn point. Um, so to set up post processing, what you want to do is go here, create an empty game object. Let's rename this post processing, um, and then. Uh, what you want to do, let's actually go to the main camera first. Let's do add component post processing. We're going to add a post processing layer. Um, and it's going to say the trigger is the main camera because that's what we're under. Um, layer, you, I don't think it matters what you set this to. The one that's suggested in this is the water layer, which is what I always do. So by the way, these are the VR chat layers. So if they're, your VR chat layers aren't set up, this won't be here. But um, I usually always just go to water because it's easy. You need to make sure that this is on no anti-aliasing. I can't remember why, but it has something to do with VR. So just leave the rest how it is. Uh, the next thing that's important is to make sure you go to your VRC world um, prefab or the script and make sure that your reference camera is your main camera. And next you're going to want to go to this game object that we made, the post processing one, add component, add a post process volume, make it global to affect the entire world, change the layer of this to what you changed the layer to in the uh, camera which was water. Um, and then you can create a new profile and press new. Um, and then you can add effects like color grading. And we can make this blue or not blue. Or green. And you can take the saturation up. And that's how you do it. It's super simple. It was super confusing for me to begin with. But yeah, I just wanted to make this real quick because I've had to explain it to a couple people. And it's kind of tedious to write out, and the I can understand how the this right here is a bit confusing to follow. Um, so yeah, here it is. Bye.